One. Hold on one second. Ah! Uh, no, no, no. There we go. Full face. Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Chelsea's Minis. This is for the host, my good one. I don't have my mic on. Now my mic is on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm prepared. Yay! It's Chelsea from Chelsea's Minis. We're going to do this over again. It's Wednesday. Mark Goodwin is here. Rumble, Rar Staff. Hello. <laughs> we're gonna do some painting again um we got a lot of stuff done yesterday or not yesterday monday when we built stuff and so i'm gonna go back to the lion knight minis and see if we can get one more at least one more painted of those kapow <laughs> thank you for the hose mark um and we're gonna do some a little bit of basing because i want to show you um, I did a little snow base. By the way, this is the Barbarian, and you can see the little woad 
circles and I put some on his eyes. Look at how cool he looks. You can see that you won't be able to see my desk very well because it's the camera is focused on the model. We had somebody come in to my stream the other day and say that I'm always out of focus on your YouTube channel. And so I've been trying to work on that. So that that's the that's the Warforged Barbarian. Look at how it's crisp. Crisp, he's crisp. Looks so good. Ooh, there's his little straw booty. And then here's the monk, which we're gonna base here in just a second. Lots of beautiful contrast on the monk. Contrast. So I, what was I? I was on a, um, I was listening to Sirius Radio um, not too long ago. If you guys, that's a satellite radio station. And there was this gal talking and she had the weirdest accent and she couldn't say tax records. Instead, she said tax records tax records. So I kind of have this weird accent in my head now because of her. Anyway, we need to base this one. We need to base this one, the monk and the Warforged Barbarian, and we need to base the paladin. Howdy, Jamie G. How are you? So let's do that real quick because I have no flock. I have, um, this is actually a special kind of super glue that is slow curing. So it contains cyanacrylate, but it's it says slow curing. So it doesn't have the fumes that regular by the way it says cyanacrylate bonds the skin and eyes in seconds. So but this is a slow curing um and I I did not have any PVA glue. So I've been mixing. So here's the thing. I want to show you something. Where how can I show you this? So when you mix clear glue with snow flock, it doesn't, it doesn't look white. It just turns clear. So what I've got is some mixing medium. Ah, thank you so much for the raid, Winter Tide Wolf Studios. Let me give Winter a shout out real quick. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Can I do a shout out? Is it going to let me? Oh, I have to do it in the other, I have to do it in the other bot, I think. I think, I think. Wait, yes. Winter. How are you, Winter? Hopefully having a good day. Tide, wolf, wolf. There we go. There we go. And we're going to do a shout out. Boop. There we go. Does that work? Yay. Good, good. Hypes and hypes. Aw, uh, and he subscribed for nine months in a row. That is a full Twitch baby winter that you just had there. <laughs> Twitch baby. Winter. Tide. Wolf. Studio. Woo. I always like how long. Like I said, my desk is not going to be in focus today. Bebe. The bebe. Having an amazing day. Even my shakes can't hold me back. I hope you have an equally amazing day. Thank you so much for the shout out. Mad love. There's crud on my desk. I have a good energy level today too. I don't know why. I think it's because I had a coffee earlier. Anyway, mixing medium. This is the P3 mixing medium. Um, and what I do is I just, this is like a little bottle cap here that I've got. I've got the mixing medium. Now we're gonna make a little, we're gonna make a little paste with our snow flock. Let's see. I think I'll just pinch it. Kind of a mess. There we go. That's a little bit easier to deal with. I put twice as much as I thought I need in there. And then we've got a little toothpick and we're gonna stir it and see how it turns into like a little you know, snowy blob, which is what you want because the clear stuff won't work. All right, snowy glob. And then I take the snowy glob and I put it into base. 
try to anyway. There we go. Hi, Robosh. How are you? And then I'm just going to smush it around like this. Give it a smush. And it will be slush, a little slushy, but that's okay. And then if I want, I need to put more on the snow flock. So this, I can't remember where this one's from, but it's basically the same stuff. This is um, Gale Force 9. You can see by the little logo, Gale Force 9 put this out. I want to say that this is Secret Weapon, but they're basically the exact same thing. So, you know, anywhere you can get snow flock, it's all about the same. I do, I need a tiny snow shovel. How are you, Pendrake TG? Pendrake? Wait, wait, wait. I got too much on this side, so I'm gonna take that little bit over here and smush it over here. It kind of sticks to itself, and I'm hoping that once it dries on the base, it'll be all good. See? Just want it to look, I want it to look like snow-ish. Oops. Everybody hates basing. It's like the biggest tedious thing. Games Workshop makes a tiny shovel? <laughs> I bet. All right, more of that medium. And you could probably also get away with um, a gel medium as well. Do I have one? I don't. That's okay. Put more of this in. It's called a texture tool. Ah, oops. I don't like just pouring it straight because then it spills. All right, I'm gonna end up with excess and stir it in. Like so. And by some, I mean a giant bottle for a whole railroad town. Yes, yes. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wood, Woodland Scenics. Kendrick is fine. I have some Woodland. Yeah, Woodland, uh, Woodland Scenics is an excellent brand as well. And you really, you really will have enough for an entire town if you use Wood, Woodland Scenics. More than, more than enough you can share with your friends. Go in on a bottle. Unless you happen to be doing an entire train thing. Need some more. A little bit more. Ah. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna drop this four more times. Watch. Right there. That this piece is a little bit more soggy, which is exactly good. And then I'm going to try to push this forward. There's some bare spots right here. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, any excess. Now I'm just going to brush off the edges of my face so there's not little pieces. And then you know, if I want to, I can add a little bit of this gravel. This is super fine. This is a little bit, a little bit less fine. I think I'm going to be lazy and not make a big mess. Now this here is long buffalo grass tufts, late summer, scale one to 45 plus by Mini Nature. Mini Nature. And Scenic, you can get this at scenicexpress.com. They've got tons of different grasses and things. And then I just usually pull one of these off. Ah! Flying toothpick. I usually look for the little ones for these bases, just like that. And I'm going to just stick it in. Probably will just, no, it might not stick on its own. So I might get just a little dab of glue. Glasses are off. When glasses are off, I need to take a second. 
Let's see. My good one says, I've got one. It's quite good, especially for getting under miniatures with limited gap between the legs. Oh, you know what else I have? I have one of these. This is like a little dental tool that you can use. And I think I've got one more. This one is great. It's kind of like a little spatula. Is this kind of what you've got? You can make a little... This is perfect, probably, actually. Oh, yeah, that's super perfect. Look at that. I can smash down the little puffs. Good. Do, 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 do. That's so cute, isn't it? Looks similar to the first tool you held up. You mean this one? Is that the first tool? They're about the same. They're about the same. All right, so glue. This glue is yellowed, and I don't know why. Something to keep in mind when you're making stuff with glue is that it glue is an acidic, an acidic thing. I'm taking the glasses off. I'm going to press this down now into the snow. These are the tweezers. And... Anyway, if it has acid in it, it will yellow because it's not archival quality. But another little drop right here. Ah! That one wants to get loose. There. There. Little, just a little drop. Adhere it into the snow. Notice I'm picking out the little ones because then it feels more feels more real. And I'm going to get another bigger one. Let's get this one. That's a nice one. Ah. So what I like about this slow cure cyanacrylite, cyanacry, whatever, super glue, the slow cure super glue is that there's no fumes. Oh, come on. Don't go. Ah. Just about adhered it to his little cloak. And one more. Let's do one more. Let's do this one. Boom. Sometimes these ones on the side are perfect because then you can put them on the side of your base. Boop. That's a lot of glue right there. See? Yeah, let's flip it so that it's actually... Cute. And then, as a finishing touch, because I don't know if this is going to... I might put a little bit of this. And we don't know how much that's going to adhere. But if it does, that's good. I want a little bit of the dry snow to give it that white look on top. And then, again, dust. Dust off the base. So, and I have a huge cat hair hanging onto my fingernail. Ah! Benna. He's, he's doing his little monk vibes in the snow now. Okay. That's three down. Four down. Because I already got my clerics in the snow base. You guys see my clerics? Oh, cool. I I don't know where my one of my clerics is. That's not good. Do, do, do. There he is. Boom. There's the other cleric. Look. And same thing. I just, you know, added that little extra snow flock. Yay, Geeky Girl Games. 22 months. You're so close. 24 months is almost two years. Almost two years. Thank you, Geeky Girl Games. There we go. We got you written down. Thank you, Mad Love. Does it dry clear? Um, this glue does, but it may dry yellow because it's already yellowed. We'll see. I think 
it'll be okay because it's kind of buried into the block stuff we made. Yes, Hype. Is that the same company that makes the tiny tufts and the new? I haven't, I don't know. I, I've seen those bases. I know what you're talking about, Mark, but I can't remember who makes those. If you find out, let me know because I, I think those, those are very cool. Possible. All right, a little bit more. No blob. Ah! I might need to put a layer of um, super glue down on top, on the bottom of this. Army Painter. Okay. Yeah, so go, go to Army Painter. They make these um, pre made bases that are pretty cool. Wait, let's, so this, this stuff wants to stick to the wood a lot. So let's do the metal and see if that helps. That is a lot less sticky on the metal. That is so much better. Yeah. The one play, there's a game store near me that sells them, but they were crazy expensive and so I didn't get any and I kind of have been trying to do my own basing a lot more these days because I have a crazy amount of basing supplies that I need to just use oh that is nice scooper little scooper go A little bit more. Okay. Oops. All right, there's the palette, and he looks pretty dang cool in the snow. And I'm going to do the little topper to start. Yeah, that actually sticks pretty well, too. Good evening. How are you, Dr. Penendeca? What am I, what are you looking at? Is what is this white cream? It's actually not cream at all. It's snow flock, which is really bright with my camera settings. Um, but we're making snow basing. Dude, that one looks so much better with the snow. And then we're taking these little grass tufts from Mini Nature. And we're gonna put some super glue. Low curing super glue and stick this into the base. So for now it's stuck to my finger. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. I'm gonna bury into the into the snow a little bit. One more. Let's do two, one or two more. I like to do odd numbers because I feel like in nature, you don't really have even numbers too much. Cool. Yeah, you're going to check this out? Okay. So we're just making simple snow bases for these models because it's, like I said, it's simple. It looks good. And we're going to put that through his legs right there and right there by the little rock that he's standing on. Oh. Okay. That looks, that looks good. Wait, he's got snow on his foot, which looks weird because it's cl turned clear on me. There we go. All right, that's, well, there's a little bit. There's a cat here on my fingernail still. 
take a little bit more of that flock and stick it right there because I can see the base. I'm going to be nitpicky. A little bit nitpicky. Come on, stay. There. And we can put a little snow on top of the grass too because that looks cool a little bit. And that will dry and stick to the grass. Do that on here too, just a little bit. Let make it look like there's a little ice on the tundra. There. That one already, already has it. Perfect. All right. I am a very tactile person, and I can feel this flock is sticking to myself, and I don't like it. All right. Again, I'm going to make mixing medium. You know what? This time, I'm going to start out with some, I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to make little, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be successful. But I think I'll make a little gravel here and there. I'll start out with the big gravel first and make a little big gravel path. Usually, when you're working with these ah, different different terrain um, things, they say to try to try to use three. You know, three different kinds of, of uh, sizes to give it kind of a more realistic look. All right, this is the finer one. And I'm going to go ahead and put more around the edges of that blue. All right, just a little bit. And some right in there. All right, that's good enough. And then the this is going to be a mess. Hold on. I'm going to use this lid to pour. Okay. All right. I got my little lid of gravel. And then, ah, uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to hold this carefully and sprinkle. And I can sprinkle it on the actual big gravel as well because that'll get in between the cracks. See how I kind of shook it down the side. All right, and last bit. Good, and a little, just a little bit. Ah, I can feel it underneath my fingernails. That's not fun. Okay, and then this can go back into bag, back into bag. How's everybody doing? What do you guys got planned for the weekend? Anything cool? We're going to do whip trip Friday on Friday. So get your pictures ready and bring them over to class so we can have everybody look. All right. Lastly, I have my little bottle cap and I'm going to add my mixing medium and my flock. Put I put twice as much as I need, probably. That was a lot. That's okay, because he's got a bigger base. And I'm going to just... That probably is too much. <laughs> okay. I'm going to spread this around between his toes. It kind of looks like it's, he's running through the snow. I should probably have done the, the snow in a, in the opposite spot as the gravel, but that's all right. Too late now. Works. It works. Oh. It's like it almost spreads a little bit like not quite like frosting, but almost. We're just giving these guys some kind of an environment so they feel more 
like they're in a space, right? Now, can you see how the, can you see the shininess of the glue? I'm going to cover some of that gravel with the snow. It didn't look real enough. Yay. Well, spread that out over the gravel a little bit more. So it it looks like melting, melting snow a little bit. And then we'll do the sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, all right. That looks nice. Not bad. What do you guys think? Throw this away. It's all mixed together. That was the last one. So let's put some bigger tufts on this guy. Let's go with this one. And then we're going to start painting the other guys. And I'm going to start up a poll so you guys will be able to pick. Do that. One, stay. No. There we go. Much better. That looks with the grass tufts. Do a couple more. That one. Hi, Fergdino. How are you? So, my mom and I made the plans. We're going to be going on a cruise from Budapest to uh, Nuremberg. Probably in November. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to stop in Vienna and Krems in Austria and I think one other place in Germany. So I'm looking forward. I need to practice my German. I'm out of practice. Bad, badly. You're doing good. Awesome. Yeah. It is exciting. River cruise, yes, on the Danube. Um, it's eight days. Like I said, it starts in Budapest, and I have a buddy in Budapest who I'm going to see, or a buddy near Budapest who's going to come to Budapest to see me. And I think after we go to Nuremberg, we're going to go to Furt, and that is where my mom was born. And we're going to kind of check out that town. I know nothing about what it's like nowadays. All right. Do you guys think one more? Or do you think it looks pretty good as is? I think it looks pretty good. Maybe we should cover that little bit with a little bit of paste of our snow paste. Just to make sure it doesn't look unfinished. It is. Got a lot going on. You think it looks good as is? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put a little bit more. A little bit more snow on the edge. Okay. I'm looking forward to going back to Europe. Um, this will be like two European trips in one year. It's kind of crazy. Mike's not super jazzed about it because he loves Europe as much as I do. And uh, here, I'm just going to use some of this, some of the schmutz. There we go. Oh, he's running through the snow. All right, they look cool together. That's, yeah, we'll do that. All right. Now I have, I can throw that away or I can keep it, whatever. It's just a bottle cap. That's why I like to use that stuff, you know, kind of recycle in a way. 
I'm looking forward to showing my mom around Vienna and having taking her to the Zachatorta Hotel because I think she would like Zachatorta and I think she would love Viennese coffee. And then in Germany, she has to try all of the good food in Germany. We're going to go in November, and I don't know. Frick, do you know, is, uh, how's the weather in Germany in November in the south? Is it too hot or cold? Or No, actually, it should be, hopefully not too cold. I don't. Cold and rainy. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Illinois. <laughs> we were going to go in October, but it's way more expensive, probably because it's more better weather, right? You know, I should just not travel with my mom in November. It's just not a good idea. Do you think it'll be okay? <laughs> Cold and rainy. I should tell my mom because we haven't made the exact trip plans yet and if you think it's going to be so it'll be november 1st through the 8th yeah but i don't want to go to germany for oktoberfest because it's just a whole bunch of drunk drunk people and i don't really i can't drink beer so what's the fun of that it can get beautiful as well but you could be lucky maybe some christmas markets are already starting november in the south as i remember as a child it was very, it was sunny but still cold See, I would like that. I like like sweater, sweater weather. You know, get a yaka. You know, <laughs> you'll have a brilliant time regardless of the weather. Maybe, maybe Zactana because I have seasonal affective disorder. And last time my mom and I traveled in November, we went to Vermont, and it was like instant depression. <laughs> It was so pathetic. <laughs> it's, it's difficult for me to enjoy fall and winter because I have, you know, issues with the cloudiness. If it's not cloudy, I'll be fine. But if it's cloudy, not so good. Guarantee it's not warm in October. Similar to weather we have in the UK, October is always bloody freezing. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell my mom that we need to travel another time. Because they didn't have any sweets left in, in October. So we wanted to get a suite so that we would have two rooms. You have a bedroom and, a, and, a, and also a living room. And so that you can have some space from each other. Just check. <laughs> Just check. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to find out. August to early September is the best time in Northern Europe. Yeah, that's what I thought. When we went in October, we went to Germany. No, we went to Austria for our honeymoon in Vienna, and it was beautiful in October, but it was uh, like mid-October, right? It was perfect. In fairness, by November, Switzerland is closing its mountain passes for snow. Oh. Dang, okay. So it's full on winter. It's full on winter by November. No wonder it's so much cheaper. All right, I'll tell my mom. Maybe we won't go in November. We might have to wait until the following year then. It'd be worth it to get a better trip. Man. Zaktana, what country are you in? And Dr. Pendeka, are you, are you guys both in Germany or nearby? Hi, Januine. We're gonna, okay, so let's pick which models we're going to paint today. Okay? I'll tell you, I'm going to start a poll. In Northern Europe, when, Europe, in Northern Europe, winter starts the second week of September. Wow. Well, wait, but I'm talking about, like, when I went to, talking about cold weather, today it was snowing in Berlin. <laughs> it snowed here, too. Frick. But it's typical. Typisch. Typical. Mid Germany. It was snowing here too. Mm, okay. Ah. 
<laughs> well, we're going to be in southern, southern eastern Germany. And, and, and we're also going to be in, so we'll be in, like I said, where did that come from? That's some kind of pointy bit that probably, I don't know what that's from. I'm going to save that. <laughs> All right, so we've got four models, and we're going to pick which one you guys are going to have me paint. I got my poll already, already, ready, already. You're in the UK? Okay. UK is further north, right? I think the UK is further north than Germany, and or is it on the same, same line? I'm waiting for the poll to come up. It's taking me, taking me a minute. The OBS is being slow. You're a little bit higher. You love holidays in Germany and Switzerland. We're not going to be anywhere near Switzerland. We're going to be Budapest is in Hungary. So we'll be in Hungary, Austria, and Germany. Coming from the east and going west down the, down the Danube. All right. Polls. Number one, the female paladin. Number two, the bard. Number three is the swashbuckler. And number four is the witcher. Okay? One paladin, two bard, three swashbuckler, four witcher. I'm going to start the poll. You're going you're gonna to type exclamation point vote, and you're going to vote on which one. No, wait, wait to vote. So there, the poll is opened. Which model should Shoshi paint? Use exclamation point vote. And then one, two, three, or four. You got to do a space. So exclamation point vote, vote. Yep. So this is the bard is two. The swashbuckler is four. The female paladin is one. The swashbuckler is three. A lot of people are voting for the, the witch hunter is pulling ahead. Um, Mark says in the Britain sits in the Gulf Stream and that comes from the Caribbean. So it's, uh, so ever, let's see, it's so it's quite mild compared to other places like Siberia, which is on the same latitude, which is always like minus 10 Celsius. Yeah, that's cold. Good evening, Nixton Minis. You can vote on which model you'd like to see me paint, Nixton. I've got number one, the female paladin, number two, the bard, number three, the swashbuckler, and number four, the witch hunter. So do exclamation point, vote, and then, then the number. Yep, just like that. <laughs> In the UK, it's just warm and wet all year round. Oh, man. <laughs> By the way, does anybody know if Hungary, Hungarians speak much English? Or if they speak German, because if they speak German, I can get by. But I speak absolutely zero Hungarian. Actually, I know one Hungarian word, Dubrojnich, which means dustpan, because I worked with a gal from Hungary, and we worked in a bakery, and she taught me how to say dustpan, and that's the only thing I remember, which is weird, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing wrong with wet and warm. <laughs> My goodness. Hi, Kapaka. Kapaka, we're voting right now on which model you'd like to see me paint. We've got one for the female palette and two for the bard, three for the swashbuckler, and four for the witch hunter. You spoke good English in Bulgaria. There are a few beers. After a few beers. <laughs> Budapest. Nice. Someone get HR in here. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Alexis Rain. <laughs> well, Achilles Rain. Sorry. I totally flipped those letters, didn't I? Achilles Rain. Sometimes I do that. All right. We've got 10 votes. I know there's more than 10 people in here. Does anybody else want to vote? Most of Europe speaks good English, but they may judge you for it. Yeah, no, I will, I will learn some 
Hungarian before we go. I'll learn a little bit, enough to, you know, say hello and excuse me, but my Hungarian is, I don't speak Hungarian. That's what I'll say. And I'll learn to say please and thank you. Those, those can get you a long way. Please and thank you. Lurkers, yeah. <laughs> so we've got 34 lurkers. <laughs> you lurkers, do you want to vote? This can be your chance. You want. You can pick out which one you want to watch and lurk and see me paint. Greg Dino says, my Hungarian colleagues speak English and Russian, so I think with either of those you'll get along. Okay. There we go. I did meet a Hungarian once in Vienna um, when I was drawing the Stefan's Dome and um, Cathedral. And uh, we kind of got by with a mix of English and, and German. It was, it, it was interesting. He speaks. You dropped out of lurking just to vote. Okay, you'll go back to it. Perfect. All right. We've got, we got, things are changing. Six votes for the witch hunter. Three votes for the female paladin. Two votes for the bard. And one vote for the swashbuckler. I'm going to take him out. And I'm going to take out the bard. So of these two, it looks like the witch hunter's winning. I think we'll make, we'll do the witch hunter because I think we could do some cool OSL on him. See how everything in the back is kind of dark. What the heck is on his back? Like a, oh, it's like some kind of monster corpse tied around his back. Do I airbrush the primer? I did. I did airbrush the primer. All right, we're gonna we're gonna close the poll. We've got six votes for the witch hunter. That's probably enough. All right. We're all set. We're gonna we're gonna paint witch hunter. Here he is. Looks cool. He's got like a severed head. All right. And I'm gonna set these gals, these guys, guys and gals aside. Ooh, don't jump out of my hand. Um so, Witch Hunter, shall I look up the Witcher? Because he's so popular, we can make a Witcher. You voted two, but four is also nice. Okay. It's okay, Kellis Rain. We're going to paint, I think we're going to paint all of them by the end of it. Um, you voted for one, but four was your second choice. Okay. All right, but most of the people who voted, voted for the Witch Hunter, so we're going to go with that. Let me do a quick Google the witch the witcher because i think we're going to use the color scheme witcher t c h e r and i'll do the netflix witcher and see what he looks like and see if i can find a good photo images well he's wearing mostly black he's not a colorful character that will be easy okay is actually wearing all black. <laughs> Should I look up the video game Witcher? Yeah, he's a, he's a little bit more interesting. Video game Witcher has, oh, that looks almost exactly like the video game Witcher. We'll do that. Okay. Got a little bit more going on with some armor. And we've got little red eyes and a little star and some metal. Not a ton of metal on this guy. Okay. I don't know what this is on his back. It's some kind of, oh, it's just a bag with a lot of rope around it. All right, fair enough. And I just found a little 3D printed goober on here that I got to cut off. There we go. Sometimes we'll do that. We'll find that. Okay, let's go. Let's go with it. Let's get my palette. Where is the palette? There it is. We need water. Masaguita. Okay. Letting that soak into the sponge and we're gonna get our hydration sheet. Need a little bit more water on that. That's better.
When it starts to curl up, just get the edges. Don't get the whole sheet wet. And then try to smooth out the bubbles so that you have a, a nice um, tension, surface tension. Okay. And I am going to use, do I have a holder that's handy? I do. Ha ha. You got a holder and some stick tack. This is the red grass game stick tack, but I'm going to use the All right. I love this because it's perfect for handling minis for me. All right. Now Baby. Okay, let's see. Diamonds, hello. I'm going to do the paint. I'm going to do the white hair. I think it'll be cool. Thank you for following. I am accuser. Mac, I Mac user. That's what it is. I'm accuser. <laughs> Spray paint in black and call it a day. Diomedes is trying to troll me. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> He's being a kibitzer. All right, looks a bit like that Love Rock from, yeah, it does, doesn't it? He's got like a little pack of, kind of looks like the Love Rock. It's like a little bag. We're just going to paint it yellow, I think. All right, where are some colors? Let's start with some mahogany on the base. There we go. And some purple. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks, Diomedes. All right, there we go. Purple. Yay, I'm glad that you're happy. And yeah, let's get some browns out here. Let's do this black brown. Lots of dark colors to start out. And what the heck, let's do, I'm just gonna throw different colors on here. This is the dark camel green. And I'm also gonna get a little bit of this unfaded ultramarine because I feel like I want to make a weird green color with that. And a little bit of this green. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting colors down. We'll see what happens. All right. Now I need a brush. Here we go. It's a good brush. I've tried, wait, Mark says I've tried painted miniatures in the last three days. Oh, 20, you painted 20 miniatures. Woo, that's great. We'll have to see them on the uh, whip trips, Mark. All right, mixing a little bit of the brown with this mahogany and a little purple. I just want to make kind of a dark color to start and put this into the shadows. Dark purpley blend color. And we can add that mahogany to the top of that. Trying to get paint down on the mini. Far so good. All right. A little purple, a little brown, a little mahogany. That in there. Oop, that's more mahogany on there. Now, starting to get, I'm going to use more mahogany on the side where there's the fire because I'm going to end up lightening that up quite a bit. I 
on me on the part right there. Now, here's where I'm going to try something weird here. I'm going to make a, yeah, it kind of works. I'm trying to, trying to find a, a highlight for my shadow. So far that did not work, actually. I'm going to go back in. More purple. There we go. The highlight for the shadow that I was going to use is kind of like a, a green. I'll try it again here in a second. See what happens when I try this kind of desaturated green color. Oh, that that works a little bit. Yay! Yay! We got a new follower. Hippie yay! Hippie yay! There we go. How are you? Or is it hippie yeah? <laughs> You've been painting your stormcast. Awesome. We'll have to see. You've been working on 12 for three weeks and they only have three coats. <laughs> Callus, that's okay. You know what? You're you're learning stuff, right? You're you're getting something out of it. Um I'm gonna mix a little bit of this yellow. This yellow is like so I need a blue or yellow or something. Oh, hmm. Let's try. Let's try this yellow ochre instead. I think that will go a little better with the colors I've got on my palette. See what happens. A little bit with my burgundy. Hmm. Not quite, but ooh, it makes a pretty. Yeah, actually, that does work for me. And then more yellow as we wrap around because this firelight is hitting it. That works. And I suppose we could make even tops of his boots plus some of that. I can't tell if that would have leather or not. Keep it leather, I guess. And then we're going to go in here with the burgundy. Burgundy, burgundy. Now we're speed painting this, so this is not going to be hyper detailed, right? What's nice about the big brush is I can paint really fast and get a lot of the base color down. wet blend some of this highlights in. That, that worked. Why not? Okay, we need more dark colors. That's the only thing I'm not thrilled about. Do this dark blue. Diamond says something odd happened today. Oh, that's cool. You must have a you must have a, a vibe on, huh? Somebody asked my uh, Diomedes out. All right, I mixed burgundy and purple and this dark blue together. And what do I want to do? I want to paint this tunic, whatever color 
that is. So it'll read maybe as black, but not be not be black. The whole belt and um coat, overcoat, surcoat, surcoat. Actually, that is looking really nice. We try to give him a little bit of a black shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. Eric says, time for you to sleep. All right, you have a good night. Schlaf gut. Gute Nacht. Um, Mark says, got a bunch of night haunts yet to do and only 20 night haunts and there's 30 to 35 to do. Kapaka says, do you add anything to the paint? So if you can see this, Kapaka, water comes up a little bit through the, see when I press it, a little water does come through the membrane and it's thinning out the paint. So I don't need to really add much to it. <laughs> Wait, you, t you told her that you watched Shoshi's minis and she was like, bam, what? What does BAM mean? Oh, BAM, because I say BAM? Does she know me? This is so weird. That's really cool. All right, what color pants? Let's give them the same color, dark pants. Yeah. Hopefully it'll read as, as kind of almost black. Paint that whole bell buckle and everything on his leg. And then we'll come back after the fact and fix stuff. And then I'm going to use some of this color in the shadows down here. Little bit. Oh. oh, okay. You don't use the word putts. It's not the right word. It's such a strong word. <laughs> um all right, for his shirt, I wanted to use a gray. Like a not that. Do let's do this mid-tone gray, dark warm gray. I know in English putts is like not a big deal, but in in Yiddish it's strong. It's like this. It's really strong. That looks good. Ooh, I really like that. We're gonna do his hair with this as the base color for his hair with this gray as well. And then I think it'll show up nice when we start painting it white. Underneath there in his armpit. All right, good so far. This is gonna be a neat, this is gonna be a neat car character. Once I get everything done. Ugh. All of the little details here.
more blue and more trying to make a dark color. Oh, there's that rope. He's got a rope around him. That's okay. And we should make his gloves also this dark purpley color because we don't know what else to do. The Witcher is mostly black, so that will be okay. All right, I'm going to look at chat in a second. I can see you guys top typing in there. I don't want to miss your, your awesome chats. I'm glad that I talked to my European friends here about November because I don't want to take another trip with my mom and have the weather ruin it. Because weather is seriously, it affects me. Okay, let me take a look. <laughs> what can you use when you're being a troll? You're being a schmuck. <laughs> schmuck is not as, <laughs> schmuck is not as harsh as putz, but it means about the same thing. <laughs> Yes, where Yiddish word of the day <laughs> is not is also not a nice word. Hold on. Okay, this is the word, and it means um, male genital, right? <laughs> No, Achilles, that's not good. You, that's not good either. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not the right word. Here it is. There. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Look. It's it's not a good word either though, but it's not as strong. It's you can not yeah, it's not as strong as as putts. Okay. All right, now we need to highlight. What are we going to highlight with? I need to highlight black. I need to look at my reference. Looks like grays. We're going to take some of my blue over here and I'm going to mix it with my existing and to make a kind of a dark purpley gray. And I'm just going to make very, very small. It's, I don't even know if this is going to show up. We'll see. Try to get this. All right. That's supposed to be gray. Wait. Got to paint that again. Take a little bit of this green, a little bit of this blue, and my gray. See what happens. Doesn't do anything. We need to paint his skin. Now, is the Witcher guy, he's... He's, he's like a regular skin. We're gonna, we're gonna start with this pan flesh. We're gonna start with pale. Yeah, he is pale, but he he has he's not super duper pale. We're gonna make that head that's in his hand. He's got a little head in his hand that's gonna be pale er, right? And I need a smaller brush. See, will this work? This is not a pointy brush. You can see this is old, but I'm going to attempt to try to make this pointy. Yeah, it'll do. It's not going to be a detail brush. I'm 
I'm going to go over his eyebrows. Yes, yeah, it's starting out pale. And this side is actually probably going to end up a little darker, so I'm going to add a little burgundy to that. Side that is um, away from the flame. Go ahead and do under his eyes here. And then blend, blend, blend. Enough. This again, we'll have the darker side be more on the burgundy end. We can actually put a little purple in that too. Going to be pretty dark. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know Bavarian, Traverian from uh? He's actually from Vienna, and I'm hopefully going to be able to have coffee with him when uh, when we do our cruise, because we're going to stop in Vienna. Works good. That's the first arm. Varian is a streamer. Oopsie. I got some... That looks cool. I like how that looks already. Let's get in here. This is not a detail brush and I'm already concerned I'm going to jack this up. Do I use Vallejo paints and what paints do you recommend? I have used Vallejo paints. I don't have very many of them because they're not easy for me to get. Um, but I do use Procryl from um, monument slash creature caster and you can go to creaturecaster.com and you can go get some of these paints and I love them but honestly just use paints that are easy for you to get what was wow Diomedes what I miss sometimes I look up and you've responded to something I said but then it's already been a, there's already a delay and then I missed it all right, a little bit of burgundy on that. Back of the elbow there. Ooh. So she, no music? Uh-oh, let me get some music for you. Hold on. I don't know what happened to it. Good, good, good. Yes, we want music. How are you, Sneaky? So sneaky, I found out I'm going to be taking another trip to Europe with my mom. Um, here we go. Start that. Can you hear that okay? Anyway, two trips in, to Europe and the cruise is going to be from Budapest to Nuremberg. Yeah, I'm going to, I've met Treverian before. The last time I was in Vienna, we, we met up. In fact, it was really weird, but, um, he knew I was going to be in town and he just happened to live in the district that we were staying in and he he and his partner were at a um coffee place and Mike and I walked by him this is really weird and he texted me on Facebook and said did you just walk by me and he told me where he was and I was like oh my gosh and so we went and met with him but that, that was a, it is a small world. And, you know, we just happened to meet in Vienna. It was so, so funny. Yeah, the one I told you about, exactly. Newbie question, the mini holder that I'm using, 
What's the spinning? Oh, watch this. So let's say, so you can hold, hold it like this, right? I'm going to twist it so that the model's in front. I put my finger on the little ball here to rest. And then I rest my hand to steady on the bar. And then I can turn such and such. And it's, it's a, it's a rest. So I can get more accurate and steady my hand, right? All right, I'm going to get in here, in her eye. So you just like that, I need that extra. And it's going to increase your paint longevity by a lot because your hands don't get so tired. That makes sense. For me, a little bit of hiccup. Let's do a little dark burgundy under that nose. And up into the hair, we're going to do some blue. Hopefully that will read as, as black or something. See, now I can turn this model upside down. Again, I'm holding it. And this way, my brush is always at the same degree but I can turn the model and get into the difficult spots easily. I really, this is my, I mean, I, not to have favorites, but this is literally my favorite model holder that is on the market currently. Now I'm sponsored by both Redgrass Games and um, what is this? Uh, Rathcore. Rathcore is the name of this model company, this uh, company. Um, but I really, really, really like Rathcore. All right. Cover up my mistakes here. Go. It is a small world, I know. Yeah, and it is useful, Blake's Realm. You covered that holder. <laughs> yeah, just go to um, PK Pro, PK, well, it's on here, PK-Pro.de. It's a, they have a German distributor, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. There's some other distributors in the U.S. that sell them, but I can't remember off the top of my head who does. All right. See how I make that little blue it's gonna be the highlight. I don't know if that's working for me or not. Maybe the gray. Let's mix a little bit of this. Oh yeah, there we go. I mix some of the flesh color with the gray. See if that does something. We're kind of like that. Like I said, I'm trying to make my black, make this look black without using, there we go. That actually looks good. 
I got, yeah, I like that better than that blue color, whatever that was. All right, now. So the transparent black is what I'm looking for here. Hold on. Transparent black. I'm going to use this as a dark liner. That'll be good. And then I'm going to use a very sharp brush. And you link to the Rathcore store. Couldn't find a USA distributor, so you ordered it from Germany. Um, only mods. Yeah, only mods. If you want to whisper it to um, Sneaky. Sneaky, are you still here? Sneaky is a mod. And who else is a mod in my chat? Rumble is here. Maybe Lamunas, one of those. Yeah, if you send it to a mod, they can link it for you. All right, and I'm just dark lining with this transparent black underneath and giving it some depth and some shadows. And that already looks, holy crap, that already looks good just that way. Do some dark lining under the belt. Ooh, there's a nice cat hair. Whoop. On top of the belt as well. What's nice about the transparent is that it's not super, super dark. And so it will uh, be perfect. It, it makes a really good liner. Okay, now found some more things to cover. My gray over here. And then we'll have to get the good. I'm really happy with this already. It's kind of crazy. Two A little bit more black. Tunic. And the crevices. This is again is speed painted, so I'm really happy with how quickly this is shaping up. Um, over here. Get his arm. Separate everything. Separate all of the clothing from the body. That is how you make it look nice and contrasted. bad guys look at how good he's starting to look now a bit better it's too much purple in that get in there with that blue and that burgundy instead better Much better. Waiting for your wrath cord to come in. Hopefully it comes in by Friday. Been over a week. Ah, you couldn't find a use. Uh, uh, yes, it is going fast. <laughs> my literal three coats were just my base coat, lol. 
Hi, 814 Punk. Well, it's going fast because I really, I'm, I'm motivated. I'm motivated to paint quickly. Plus, um, the palette is kind of thin, thinning stuff out for me, which is making it easier for me to paint. get some more of that little bit of flame um, OSL on here Ugh. see how I just added that little bit of yellow that leather looks like it's giving it a little bit of a glow this is what the ochre Now, I'm going to use the burgundy and a little bit of transparent black together to make a dark brown color for this porch. I think the other reason why it's going fast is I have a strong... I have strong visual reference in my mind that I want to stick to and that always makes everything easier. There we go. Good. Now, let me look at the Witcher's reference again. This is it. It is a speed paint. Yeah. <laughs> let me look at the Witcher's stuff and see what color metals. He's using almost all silvers. So, I'm going to, I'm going to go straight to the silver. Let's give that a good shake. Put this on my palette. Now, I've got all the dark colors I need on here, so this will be my bright, brighter highlight here. Ah, brush on the ground. Was that the brush I needed? Let me check. Yes, it is. Ha ha. We got about three brushes going on here. All right, we're going back. Now, this is the silver. Now, the, the metallics I've got from this company are so good. Let's, let's add them. already so nice um we're going to be doing a metallic metals class at adepticon and in an, the next week or so i'm going to be demonstrating that same class here on twitch so all my twitch viewers are going to get to see see that class in action and get to see what it's about it's obviously not the same as being in person with a teacher and instructor and getting hands-on um, tutorial, but it will be really nice in either way, and you'll be able to use it. I will kind of paint that belt. Now with the silver. See how I can use this side of the bar and hold it and then I can rest my hand on the bar and get really very accurate lines. If you have shaky hands, if you have a holder that has some kind of bar, it's going to make a big difference in your brush control. Okay, same thing. This one. Too much 
paint on the brush. Good. Oh, his little Outremont. Oh, and I just noticed he's got some little, mm, we're gonna flip it upside down because I can reach them. There's some little crossbow bolts down here. Or stakes, or we don't even know, but either way, this can get painted. A little silver detailing. All right, I'm gonna look at chat in just a second. Good. Now, just like I did before, we're gonna dark line. Spots on the buckles. The belt holes. That boot. That dark line made a big difference. I'm going to flip this around and get the back. I'm starting with this black here because I figure soot is going to cover that end of that stick. It is burned. It is burned. Okay. Yay! We gotta get a gecko. We're gonna get a gecko out. Okay. Ah, that and the model is three. Yeah, it's three fourths black. It is. Look at that already. He's gonna look good in the snow, though, isn't he? All right. Let's get out a gecko. Let's take a break. It is break. Let's take a break and stretch my right hair. Let's stretch out. Oh, my back. Ah, crack, crack, crack. I feel like I didn't get it. There's a little spot. You know that crick that you get in your back when you've been painting too much? All right, let me get out of Gecko. My lab mic. <laughs> it's like a big tangle mess. Let's see. So Ginger Biscuit did shed. He had a perfect shed. Her mommy is a good mommy. There's a Biscuit. Get all the dust off of her because she likes to dig around. There's Biscuit. Look at how pretty she looks. Do you remember how pale she was the other day? She was so pale because she was getting ready to shed and now she's all peachy. Yeah, <laughs> play, some, play some pop. Let's play some pop. All right, hold on a second. That's funny. Here we go. There's a biscuit. See how peachy? She got a little dirt on her. Been digging. See how peachy she was? Last time she was almost like white because she was. What are you doing? Where are you going? You want to get down? You won't be in focus. There we go. There's a focus. Focus ginger biscuit. <laughs> ginger biscuit. He is pretty. He's a pretty, pretty geck. You gonna do a blip? Do a blip? Do a little blip. 
the light is a little bright for her. Blip, blip. See that? Looking down. What do you want? Blip, blip. <laughs> She's a good baby. They're such, they're so great. And they make me so happy too. I need to redo their tank. I need to buy some more plants. Cause I don't think I need as much heat as I have going on in their tank. All right, you get back there. Here you go. All right, let's also a hydration break. Another stretch. You guys got water? This is raspberry hint water today. Yum. Uh, I think they're gonna start selling this in a gallon or half gallon bottles, which will be awesome because then I won't have to use three million little 474 milliliter bottles, 16 fluid ounces. Birthday cake break, Zagtana, is it your birthday? We need to do some kind of birthday thing. Ah, oh, I got it. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, okay. Tea, only tea. All right. We're ready. We're ready for painting. Did you guys hear that pop? <laughs> good. I'm happy with him. Whew, that was good. I needed that. Um, let's do, let's do more black on the end here as well, I think, just a little bit. Then we're going to do some burgundy. I think the way it goes, I need to look at fire again, because I think fire is actually hottest. Oh, I got to look it up. Fire is like backward than what you think it is. Um, let's look up Fire OSL. Fire OSL miniature. There we go. Do, 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 do. Images. Hmm. So yeah, we're gonna go from black to burgundy and then in to brighter and brighter colors. Find a good image to go from. Gosh, that's amazing. Okay. Ooh, and I just found Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna link this for you guys because I think, so this is by Paul, no, Paul, so hold on, let me find out where this is from. Check this out. This is the JPEG that I'm gonna use for the colors for this guy. I think it'll be really good. Black at the tips, light at the base for the fire. Here, take a look at this. This is what I wanna use. We'll have black at the tips, yeah, so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at those. See how the, the light is on this guy and the back is like a bright, he's got kind of a dark shadow in the middle. How am I going to do this? I don't think I'm going to be able to do exactly this at all, but we'll work something. He's even got smoke. That is unbelievable. All right, so let's do transparents. We've got transparent yellow 
and I know I've got transparent orange and transparent red, although we don't need we don't need too much transparent red. We're gonna use the yellow first. And yeah. I'm gonna do so we can always add some white in the middle of that. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> and then a little transparent more. Is that open? There we go. A little bit of orange, just a little bit, because it's going to be powerful. Do I? Am I on the right cam? Yes, good. Yeah, isn't that amazing? All right, glasses are on my head here. Put some of that orange on the top of things a little bit. I use my ochre. I can lighten things up in a more opaque way, and then I can add my brighter yellow in addition. You'll see. Let me know if I need to go back and, re you know, re explain that a little bit. Once that dries, I'll be able to go brighter with my transparent yellow. Maybe you can do a little bit now. All right, let's wet blend these together so they're nice. Again, this is speed painted, so if I were to take my time on this, I might even be able to get even more accurate. Now I can get in here into some of these shadows with the dark brown, that burgundy. Let's do burgundy with the, a little bit of the orange mixed in. And let's look again at the, let's look again at the, I need to look at another reference here. Hmm. Fire, fire, fire. Here's a good one. So we'll just, I went, I need to go more yellow. I'm going to use my ochre. the other parts of this and the shadows are still kind of dark I'll let that dry because that's and I need I do need some red I used I will not use the transparent red I'm going to use the bold pure red be really bright it's gonna dry your eye I don't know if I want to use this let me mix some with the burgundy because I feel like that's gonna be too too much I like that on the bottom a little bit a little bit of the red kind of peaking and then we're gonna pop in some transparent orange in there I 
Okay, I, let, I need to let that dry. And then I'm going to take some of my red burgundy. So the, these, these two colors are not transparent, but they, well, they're transparent in a way because I've got a little water mixed in with them, but overall, there. See how that's starting to look? Makes a little bit more burgundy up here. And more burgundy. And I can take my ochre. All right. And I need some ochre on the glove as well. And same thing with the, ooh, what happened? I wasn't even paying attention. Pigeon, hello, how are you, Pigeon? How's it going? We are painting the like a witch character, like a, not a witch, what is he called? He's called a witch hunter. He's kind of like a, I like the Witcher a little bit. Oh, thank you for that raid. You got two raids. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, Pigeon? Pigeon's here for the bants. The banter. All right, I'm sorry. I got to quickly get in some of this little red bits. While it's drying so I don't mess it up. There we go. Why is that not working for me? There, that's better. All right. It's iffy. We need to paint his hair because he's not a witcher with that dark hair, is he? going to go in with this lighter gray though. I'm going to paint the gray first and then go back in it. How you doing, bruv? There we go. Oops, I just painted his chin. I don't think I meant to do that. There we go, that's better. I'm in deep concentration, you can tell. By the way, I went and looked at your Instagram pigeon and uh, I could totally see some of the pieces where um, Kaha miniatures had given like a little bit of influence like on the cloak where she, you kind of had her little des cloak designs that what she does like you know what I mean oh I want to show you something pigeon you haven't seen this check this out we got well we got Quetzalcoatl done he look he looks pretty cool and then I also got that Titan done. Hold on, let me grab it. You might have seen it. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen the Titan with his base though, because he's not on my Instagram. Check it out. Ooh, now that's sexy. Base. Pew pew pew. He's got plasma. Pew pew. 
And he's got removable, magnetized guns. Like it? Titan booty. Can I zoom? I can try. Hold on, let me see. It was gonna take me a minute. I have to adjust. Okay. Do a focus. There we go. Love it. You see it now? guns <laughs> and then let me show you the Quetzalcoatl and I got one other one that I've been working on called a Cecetal 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 is um check this guy out look at this he's a uh, north Pacific Northwest um two-headed serpent I'm doing all this kind of like, it's kind of like not quite freehand because there's some, some stuff in here, but some of it is freehanded, you know? So it's like half, half freehanded, half not. And I, I just didn't know what to do on his face. So I just started doing this kind of interesting blended look. Um, let me done this. There we go. Get the feeling the fire is wrong. Before leaving, you have to say this. <laughs> it should be more yellow at the stick and less red. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, that's possible. Well, I was going to have that come back down. So let me look again. Let's see. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, you're right. It is shit. It is wrong. It is wrong. Should have white and then get redder for the top. That's okay. We'll fix it. Not a biggie. Yeah, that'll look actually better if we do it that way. All right, let's see. Probably the best thing to do would be to paint the ochre all over the whole thing, or maybe just white over the whole thing. And one one thing I want to show you real quick is the, the Quetzalcoatl, how he came out. Uh-oh, did I mess him up? No, nope, he looks good. Anyway, that's the Quetzalcoatl, and he looks so much better now that he's in the whole frame. Get the flames more across the chest. No, I agree, you're right. We need to get this, we need to get that right. Let's use the white and cover that, cover that up a little bit first. Put these away, because I don't want to get anything on them. Do -do. And we're going to fix our focus again. Put it right there, focus. There we go. Quetzalcoatl's dope. Yeah. Quetzalcoatl. Yes, you spelled it. <laughs> it's I spelled it wrong a few times on my social media, and some people corrected me, thankfully. Okay. I'm just going to paint that whole thing white, get the intense color, and then back over it in a minute. There's some yellow in there that's still not dry. It's still kind of tinted. That's okay. Hopefully the white will dry faster. All right, let's let that dry. I think that um, pigeon is right. We do need 
to kind of bring that yellow around on his chest a little bit more. I just heard my gecko sneeze or do something. I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe she's mad. Honey. All right. I'm just feathering in the ochre a little bit. And there's a rope. Got to get that. All right, get the rest of this. That looks better, doesn't it? I'm going to add a little bit of white to this and brighten that. A little bit of contrast, and then we can go back Plays it back a little bit. This is a speed paint, by the way. We're trying to get this kind of looking cool and neato is as fast as we can. I think we're getting it. I'm gonna get this glove. What do you think? Hi, Maharoon. How are you? Who makes the quaddle? It's paymastergames.com. Here, I'll spell it for you guys. Your painting is cleaner than me, crime scenes. <laughs> well, sometimes. Paymaster is um, there. Let's see. It's this one. The, that's the company that makes a whole bunch of different kinds of um, North American, Native American, um, and Pacific Islander um, models. A whole bunch of them. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's do some more white in the gray to bring out his hair. He's got, he's just got a little bitty hair here, so. To paint his witcher hair. That's the wrong brush though. That is not a pointy brush. This one's better. Uh, there's a little piece of something in like 3D printed material in his hair. I got to get that out. I kind of want to, mm, I want to paint the hair white and then get the, get the shadows back, but I know, I don't know if that'll work. This is the bad brush. Why do I keep picking the bad brush up? That's not the good brush. Hey, would I recommend for a crazy good deal detail brush? That's a good question, Pigeon, because I've been fighting. I've been, so Raphael makes pretty good brushes. Um, that's a pretty good one. Um, Raphael 4804, but I'm really hard on brushes. And so they tend to all end up like, kind of like this, like where they're just, you know, after a while, this is a Windsor Newton and it's just, that's not, you know, see what happens when we get that wet and twirl it. Yeah, it's, eh. 
long as you can keep a point, most of these brushes will work. I think that Raphael's been pretty good. This is a scale and it's not bad. I don't use it that much though. That's probably, probably the best thing to do is to get a nice brush like a Raphael and never use it except for detail. That's what I would do. And how long does a brush last me? I don't, not very long. Not very long because I am very hard on brushes. I'm going to use the actual golden yellow here. It's got a little bit of green in it though. Not green, but it's like a, it's a green yellow paired. Um, where's that pigment I have? This is, I'm going to try a little bit of this marigold yellow. This is a, this is a really nice warm yellow. I'm going to open it up because it is plugged. Here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a really bright orange too. All right, let's try it. This is a Reaper color. And what are we gonna put this? We're gonna put this up in here. Ooh, I like that. Do like that. That gives a really nice warm. That's the color I think it needed. That glaze is nice too. Pretty. Now, obviously, that glow, let's do a little bit of that yellow over here, too. A little bit of it. Let's do that yellow up in here. Yeah, no, down in here. That's where I wanted it. Yeah, that works. Rosemary and Company? Yeah, I've heard those are good heavy metal. I have some Rosemary and Company. I have some Broken Toad. Look at how bad my Broken Toad is. Crap. Um, I do like Rosemary and Company, especially they have schmoosh brushes. They're good for dry brushing. This is a Rosemary <coughs> Rosemary and Company for smooshing. It actually says that. And it's just, a, it's just a dry brush. And they make them in a couple different sizes. Oh, you're sick, Maha. I'm sorry. Raphael's my favorite brush, but they stopped selling it. Oh, no. Where'd they start? They stopped selling it in the UK or just? The ones that I liked were the, uh, the orange here, the ones with the orange handle. Those were the good ones from Raphael. Is that the ones they stopped selling? I bet that's the one. Okie tool fail. Yep. my yellow in there. See how bright that is? That's so nice. Let's get this orange. Nice and warm. And then what are we going to do? We're going to do a little bit of this red and this orange up in here. A little too orange, maybe. 
Take it, take it off. Yeah. Nope. I don't like the red or the orange. Let's do this better. Okay. I, I do like that. And I'm going to give it a little bit of orange down in there. A little bit. Okay. This hair is not, I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to get in here with the gray. And just cover it. And I'll work on it. I'll work on it in a minute. I feel like I'll just cover it and see what happens here. And I may yeah, I'm gonna, the white is looking chalky. That's what's my issue is. That's what my issue is. So the gray, I wanna take it down to gray. And only, yeah, that's so much better. Much better. Needs to soften, soften that white because that white, it just needs to be the highest highlight, not the whole dang thing. Much better. This is a fun mini. Okay, so burgundy. Maybe up in here. That works. Blend it into that orange a little bit. And then the transparent black on the ends, right? And a little bit of red, a little bit. Okay, give me a second, guys. I got in the zone a little bit and I kind of ignored chat, but I will get back to it. Give me one second. Things are drying quickly and I want to blend. All right, let me look now. <laughs> the orange butt cheeks. He doesn't really have butt cheeks, but you're right. I do need to work on that over there. Pull that. I'm, I like to, I'm really bad about just painting the front of a mini when I'm, when I'm streaming. Use, wait, 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 missed a bunch. Metal, heavy metal Sunday says, I have a tip, use Kleenex instead of paper towels. Oh, yes. I bet that would save the brush because I'm always doing that on paper towels. Okay, heavy metal, I'll give it a try. Pa paper towels are too abrasive, okay. The thing pops more than Michael Jackson kicks. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Does. Oops. I like contrast, especially on a speed paint. This is a speed painted model, so. Go a little faster on that. Let's do a little ochre on her hair even. OK. 
Okay. What else? Maybe a little, little white and a little gray in this. Let's see what happens. We just highlight some of this leather. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for the looking for where the model is giving off reflections. some spots not a ton of spots though. there we go That's not bad. I don't think it's too bad. Polo says, I'm not going to waste money and then throw them out so that you use them. Yeah. <laughs> Where can you buy this holder? Go to um, PK, PK Pro. Here, I'll type it in the chat for you. PK Pro.de. PK Dash. Pro. De. I think that's that's it. And Rathcore miniature holders is what they are. This is called a Rathcore miniature holder, and you can tell them sh tell them show she sent you, right? All right, real quick. I'm gonna get that dark bluish, blackish color in here. I'm gonna paint this top part of his armor. Dark blue. And then once it's dry, we're gonna go in and get our silver. <laughs> this part can be gold, so that I'm going to use the burgundy on this bit. Do I want it to be gold? Maybe I want it to be silver. Too late. It's going to be gold. Too late. Get a little bit of that dark blue burgundy in there in shadows. Okay. What do, what do we what do you think we should paint this leather sack? Maybe maybe burgundy with with ochre highlights, maybe. Let's see how it looks. Let's do a little bit of this brown color over here. And a little bit of ochre. Again, wet blending it. Good enough. Let that dry. These paints are starting to glaze out a lot on my palette, so I need to... That's why I'm glad I went so fast. Chat is going very fast. I am this. <laughs> Simurg the Persian. Hello. Hold on. Let me look at everybody's chats. Okay, we talked about the holder. Let the woman blend. <laughs> Hello, complete newbie. Only been doing this for like a week now. Welcome. Smurg the Persian. Yes. Welcome to the purge of the bank balance. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What are you working on, Giza? Yeah, ask questions. The chat will answer stuff. I will answer stuff. 
Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome to the squad. Grab a large 90 millimeter metal part if the if you buy a holder. Yes. Part you want to get this metal part if you get one of these holders. Get a large one just in case. This this small one will be good for the small minis, but you want a couple big ones. Hey o, -E -E Doctor owns. That's a nice mini. Thank you. Like the torch. Yep, he's a witch hunter. We got some. Hmm. Need to work on her face. This is a good. This is a good um, start. I'm gonna take some ochre real quick. Nice to meet me. Yeah, thank you so much for coming by. Feel free to give us a follow. If you hit that little bell button on the follow, um, it will let you know um, when I'm on. I'm on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time from 2.30 to 4.30 GMT minus 6. So that's usually six hours, six hours ahead for UK. That helps you any seven hours for the Europe. And it's central time if you happen to live in the U.S. There we go. Some little stitches over here. Yay! Yay! See, we now... <laughs> Dire Cupcake is following us. Thank you so much. And also, Smurg the Persian, thank you for following as well. I have a friend who is Persian, actually. Um, I've known her since seventh grade. All right, I'm going to paint this burgundy right here. This is the scabbard of his blade. Good there. Um, all right, so that's cool. Tricky. There we go. Sometimes you have to turn the model around, always turning the model, but not the brush so much. Okay, let's do highlighting on the back. More highlighting on the back. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of white because it's just not opaque enough for me. See, I wanted some of that brightness. All right, the silver, let's do that on this. See, nice and silver. Where else? We're going to do some up here too. Oh, so this is going to be tricky. There's little baby rivets on these. Try to get each one. See how crazy that is? And then... Wiped off some of the silver. I'm going to get the edge of the top of that. And I need to blend this just a little bit. Go ahead and put a little bit of this transparent black down here and blend it, blend it into that silver. Yeah, that's perfect. More little rivets. And the edge highlighting, if you can get it. Nice. Okay. We talked about the gold handle there. We're going to get the silver right there. I'm 
Okay. The gold part, I'm going to use a dark, dark gold if I can. Actually, let's not even use a dark gold. Let's use a dark. Where'd it go? No. Bronze. This is it. It's like a dark brown. Need to head off, Rumble. Thank you for, for, yeah, you're everywhere. That's true. <laughs> All right, you have a good night, Rumble. This is my, it's a beautiful color, this bro dark bronze. I don't wanna go gold gold because it won't fit the model. It'll be too, too, too bright, but I can use this brown to start. And then get in there with some other bronze or maybe a, hmm. Um, let's try, let's try this rich gold and mix it a little bit with that bronze. There's a little shaker ball in there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want that straight. Our cupcake. <laughs> oh, you're in the UK. Awesome. Yep. So if you're in the UK, I stream from what's say 8 30 until um three hours so 8 9 10 11 30 8 30 to 11 30 i think hardest model to be honest the paints are the flying ones yeah. squirter, how do you even use primer spray on them <laughs> it's true Thanks for following Hooked, Cooked on Phonics. I appreciate your follow. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'm mixing gold with this brown to get this color here. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Just the right amount of gold. And I can add little baby highlights to the top. Just, the, just that small amount. Can you guys see that? And then here, that little bit, and then mostly that brown. So I, I put the gold on it and then I glazed it with the brown, but now I can put the gold back a little bit. Perfect. Yay, okay, I feel like what's left. Um. Maybe a little bit on the back. Pretty, we're pretty close though, right? Um, I'm gonna paint the ba the base black, full black. There it is. This is nice because these bottles, I have a nice holder for these now. This is all the colors that we used on this guy. Look at this. Isn't that pretty. All right, black for the base. Watch what's going to happen once we paint this base and how finished this is going to look in two seconds. And that. There we go. And um, I will mention that we're going to be doing... Uh, a blind auction for a bunch of these miniatures from Lion Tower Miniatures and Lion Tower, who makes these miniatures, um, sells the STL files. Look at how good he looks now. And so anyway, but these painted miniatures, I'm going to show you the different ones. So we've got this guy. We have this this one. This is the um, Warforge uh, Warforge Barbarian. He's got a little. And take a peek at him. Warforged Barbarian. Got eight in total. That who was eight? Yeah. This is the monk. We'll be do. I'll be putting out a web form. And if you want to bid on one of these, you can do. A, um, it's a blind auction. So who just bid whatever you you want to whatever you can afford. You do need to pay for shipping. And whoever gets the highest bid on 
the model will get to keep it. You know, you'll get to pay for it and keep it. There's a paladin. Pretty cool. They look beautiful. Thank you. So where? I've got one more. Where is it? Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is what's left. We've got this bard with the loot, and he has an ocarina around his neck. Got that cute little rocker, rocker hand. This bard is left. This swashbuckler. Got a gun, and he's got another gun and a, and a sword, but he's also got, oh no. That's what that piece was, this. All right, I will I'll glue that back on right now. Hold on. Where do we bid? I will be posting, I haven't posted it yet. I wanna get all these done. But I will be posting a web form and then we'll, we'll launch it on my, um, I'll, I'll launch it here and on my social media. So everybody will have a chance to bid. So if you're not following me on my social media, I'm at Shoshi's Minis. You can see all of these. Just search at Shoshi's Minis. And I'm on all of those. And I'll launch it on my social media. I knew that this was going to be from something. I can get it to stick. There we go. Hey, hey, wait, it's crooked. No, it's good. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to reinforce that with a little Bondic later. Bondic is life. And then there's the female paladin. So, those all these models are gonna be up for, for bidding. So, you can, you can bid whatever you want in the United States. Ah. Nice direct cupcake. Good. All right, we're gonna look for somebody to raid. I think we're about done with this guy. So we, we can do this, this. We've been doing the snowy bases on all of them. So I will, I'll do that on my own time though. There we go, one witch hunter. And I'm gonna work on the face of her in the face of him a little bit more so they'll be a lot more detailed and I'll smooth out all the blending a little bit too because that's I think that's pretty pretty nice for his quick speed paint you know I like the fire oh yeah oh thanks so much <laughs> YouTube is dope well it depends on what you're going for yeah you can watch me on YouTube as well if you can't make the streams Let's see who is online. Let me take a look. We got Studio J and Soulways, Hannah Hanabi, Crocodile. We haven't raided Crocodile in a while. We're going to raid Crocodile. So let me cut my music off and we're going to start our raid music. Go ahead and stick around and with me so we can do, do a raid into Crocodile. He's another awesome painter. There we go. And go into trade mode. He's only got like four people watching him right now, so he'll be happy. There he is. All right, guys. Punch that raid button right now. Punch it. Join the raid. We're going to spam Crocodile with some emotes and say mad love from Shoshi's Minis. And I will be back on Friday, and we're going to do Whip Trip Friday, so make sure you bring pictures. It doesn't have to be just, um, it doesn't have to be just models. It can be like your pets. It can be anything creative that you've been working on. All right, guys, I'll see you Friday. Bye.